Well, Sunday is also the annual Lehman Legacy Game as UMass honors its former coach, administrator, and broadcaster by raising funds for a scholarship that bears his name. Jack passed away in 2004, but his impact on the UMass campus can still be felt to this day. With more, Big Y presents a look back at the career of Jack Lehman. In 1961, UMass head coach Matt Zunick brought in a former player of his from Boston University to become an assistant, 28-year-old Boston native Jack Lehman. Five years later, after then-coach Johnny Orr's sudden resignation, athletic director Warren McGurk promoted the little-known Lehman to head coach. He was a guy that came out of BU where, where he played, and, uh, and he had no big prior record as a coach. He came to UMass as a pretty young guy. When Johnny Orr left in the mid-60s, and they went right out and offered it to Jack, he was ready to come in and do the job and he showed that. It didn't take long for the new coach to turn the Redmen into a Yankee Conference powerhouse. After compiling a losing record in his first year, Lehman's strong leadership and legendary attention to detail helped lead UMass to a first place conference finish in eight of the next nine seasons. Coach Lehman was a patterned offense and despite how good you were or how good you thought you were, your job was to play the role there was a fast break and you didn't hit the open man in practice, you stopped the practice and he'd introduce you to the person and say, that, that's, that's Johnny, that's, he's your t teammate, he was ahead of you, you passed the ball. He was a coach in the, in the strictest sense of the word. He was a guy, he was a field general. He was a guy who when you looked in the sideline, you knew who the coach was. It wasn't like, is it that guy, is it the guy sitting? He had that court presence that distinguished himself as a coach. Jack was a pretty intense guy. I think everyone recognizes that. Um, very focused on the details, a no-nonsense kind of guy. He's such a passionate guy and he loved to coach and he loved to teach more than coaching. He was, he was a great teacher of the game. Coach Lehman developed a pipeline between the talent-rich Long Island area and Amherst, one that would land UMass standout players like Julius Irving, Al Skinner, and Rick Pitino. UMass presented something very unique and that was the relationship between Jack Lehman and Ray Wilson, who was my high school coach. Uh, they had attended BU together. UMass offered me a personal experience that I wouldn't have gotten elsewhere because of their relationship, and I think that was the driving influence for deciding to go there. With all the great talent aboard, Lehman's teams made the NIT six times in the first eight years of the 1970s. Coach, you knew Jack Lehman both when you were a player and then later you were a co-broadcaster on the radio <laughs> network with him. Talk about what he meant to you. Well, Coach Lehman, uh, as he is known to me, is a, a person that has the uncanny ability to make everybody he comes into contact with feel good. Whether you're a player, a coach, a person passing by on the street, he was just an unbelievable figure and, and he represented UMass to, the, to its core and just an unbelievable person whose legacy lives on. Uh, his wife Rita and, and Lori Lehman, and his daughter, are just two great people that come to all the games and support us still and um, his name and legacy will live on forever here at UMass.